Hey guys, it's Nora. On tonight's adventure, I'm gonna be using my underwater metal detector to treasure hunt at a popular beach that I was at earlier today. I had some really good luck here and I found a beautiful gold ring. So let's grab our gear, jump into the water and see if we can find some more treasure. I can't believe this is the same beach I was at earlier. It was so crowded. And now we have this whole place to ourselves. Cool. Wow, so this is actually where all those people were hanging out earlier today or in the last episode. And they were all coming here to cliff jump. So cool. I was diving here with the Nomad. Wow, look at this alien that showed up. Am I ready for a night dive? <laughs> oh my god, we're so ready guys. I got my light, he has his light. Let's go find some gold. Oh my god. Whoa. For us. Wow. Thank you, we don't need the torches. We always see the gold shining. This is really incredible. Before we continue with the adventure, I'd like to first stop and thank Babbel for sponsoring today's video. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps out there and it's scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in just three weeks. Aprendo Español, that means I'm learning Spanish. I don't understand. No entiendo. No entiendo. Bienvenido, Paco. Bienvenido. I love how they say the word so you could learn the proper pronunciation. Ooh, 18 out of 18. I am really stepping up my Spanish game, guys. I think learning a new language is a must because you never know when it might come in handy during your travels. My favorite part about learning a new language with Babbel is how simplified and easy it is, and that's because lessons are carefully crafted by real language teachers. As you guys know, I was working on my French a few months back, but I decided to switch it up to Spanish. And this is a great benefit to having a lifetime subscription with Babbel because you can go back and forth between different languages. You could have unlimited access to all their lessons and depending where you are in the world or where you're traveling to, you could flip those open and refresh your skills. If you guys are interested in trying Babbel, you can click the link in the description box down below you'll get 60% off a lifetime subscription and you can start to learn a new language today. Once again, thank you so much Babbel for sponsoring another video. Now let's get back to the adventure. All right guys, we're in the water. They put these lights on, so I don't even think we need our dive lights. It's super bright underwater and I think it's gonna look really cool.
one euro. This towel was waiting to dry on my back. Yeah, it's full of water. It was before it was raining. All right, guys, we just came out of the water. According to my mom, we were in there for four hours. Four hours. We're gonna go back to the Airbnb. We actually have to pack our bags because we're moving tomorrow morning. So I'll go over my finds with you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone. <laughs> we made it to Rome. Yes, we made it to Rome. Finally. So we're at the Trevi Fountain. And although it's nighttime, it's completely packed with people. <laughs> Here you go. Make a wish. So we sat at this restaurant, we're gonna have a nice dinner, have a little wine, maybe see some more sights, and then I'll show you what I found a little later. Ooh. So we're starting with eggplant farm. It looks delicious. It's just the perfect touch. Cheers. 
So we're in front of the Pantheon right now. My mom is here, posing as usual. Each column must weigh like 10,000 pounds at least. So we're walking back to our apartment now. Check out this parking spot that we found. It's right in front of our door and it's on a pedestrian street. Just demonstrate how you knock. No. Do it. I demonstrate, but not too much. Knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Okay, <laughs> it's so big. This door is so heavy. Really? Oh my god. It's going to have me all. Welcome home. Look at my wetsuits. <laughs> this is my room and all my bags. And this is the kitchen. This is my mom's room. <laughs> Very small one, room. only bed. And of course, we have to have a bathroom. And we're in Italy, so there's a butt washer the next day. All right guys, as usual, I'll start with my trash finds. I found a bottle cap and some random bits of metal. Lots of aluminum as usual. Next, I found this fishing hook and it has a lead weight ball on the top. I found a lot of random buckles and rings. I'm not sure what this is from. If anyone has any idea, please let me know down in the comments. I found this really interesting metal lid. I tried to search the whole area for the other part of it, but I couldn't find anything else. Comment down below what you think this is from. This seems to be a button. I found around 10 euros in coins. And my best find of the night was this bracelet. It's not gold or anything obviously, but pretty cool find. I found several of these bracelets already and so did Fabrizio and my mom and I um, were eating dinner one night and the guys that go around selling stuff give these out as gifts so that explains why there's so many of them. It was really fun to treasure hunt at night and it was so cool seeing the buildings lit up around us and there was even lights pointing towards the water so we had pretty good visibility even without our flashlights. All right guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. My mom and I are gonna go explore Rome now. We're gonna do a little question and answer video for you guys, so be sure you stay tuned in for that. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Buy the merch if you wanna support the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Whoa! <laughs> Don't break his nose!